Are you a content creator struggling to produce high quality content quickly? Do you wish there was a way to streamline your writing process and increase your productivity? Well, look no further than ChatGPT, the AI language model that can help you generate text in a matter of seconds. My name is Anthony and in this class, I'll be teaching you how to harness the power of ChatGPT to take your content creation to the next level. Whether you're a blogger, writer, or YouTuber, this class will show you how to use ChatGPT to write a book, generate blog posts, create YouTube videos, and even more. Throughout this class, you will learn the basics of ChatGPT, including how to fine tune the AI's output to fit your unique style and preferences. You will also discover how to integrate ChatGPT into your existing workflow and explore tips and tricks for making the most of this powerful tool. This class is designed for content creators of all skill levels, from beginners to advanced writers looking to explore new methods of content creation. By the end of this class, you'll have a solid understanding of ChatGPT's capabilities, and you'll be equipped with the skills needed to start generating high quality content more efficiently than ever before. So take the first step towards unlocking your full creative potential and learning how to leverage the power of AI writing. Join this class today and discover how to create quality content faster and more efficiently than ever before. Hello and welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to get started with ChatGPT, the most powerful AI tool in the world. Whether you're a beginner or just curious about this technology, this video is for you. ChatGPT is a language generation model developed by OpenAI. It's capable of generating human-like text and has been used in a variety of applications, including chatbots, language translation, and content generation. In this video, I'll show you how to get started with ChatGPT, from setting up your account to using the tool to generate your own content. So first, let's start by going over the basic steps for setting up your ChatGPT account. To do this, you'll need to create an OpenAI account which is free and easy to do. Once you have your account, you can access ChatGPT. To create an OpenAI account, all you need to do is go to openai.com and then scroll down to the footer and click the login button. Here, if you have an account already, you can log in, but if you don't yet have an account, you can click the sign up button. Then simply enter in your email address and you can get started creating your account. Alternatively, you could create an account using Google or by using your Microsoft account, as you can see down here. So these other options are also available if you don't want to sign up with your email address. Next, once you have created your account, you will need to go to chat.openai.com. And this is where you'll be able to start using ChatGPT. So as you can see here, I have now opened chat.openai.com and this is ChatGPT. This is my interface, my dashboard, and yours will be somewhat similar to this. However, if you have created a brand new account, you will not see the current conversations or chats that I have at the moment on the left over here. Yours will be completely empty and you will just see the new chat screen. So we do have some examples on the dashboard, the capabilities and the limitations as well. So you can have a look at these to understand a bit more about chat GPT. However, what I'm going to do now is show you how to use ChatGPT to generate text. So there are several output options for interacting with the ChatGPT language model. This includes sending text inputs and receiving text outputs. You can also specify the length and quality of the generated text. So to demonstrate the power of ChatGPT, let's generate some text. For example, let's ask the ChatGPT model to generate a descriptive paragraph about a city. So what I'm going to do is click into this box down here and I'm going to write, write a 100 word description about London. Then simply hit enter. And you can watch as chat GPT generates a beautifully crafted response in real time. As you can see, ChatGPT is capable of generating human-like text, making it an incredibly powerful tool for a variety of applications. 
whether you're building a chatbot, generating content for your website, or just having fun, ChatGPT is an essential tool for anyone interested in AI and language generation. So let's have a look at the 100 word description it has written about London. London is the capital and largest city of England, located in the southeastern part of the country. It is a global hub for commerce, art, education, fashion and politics. The city is home to some of the world's most iconic landmarks, such as Buckingham Palace, the Tower of London and the London Eye. London's rich history can be seen in its architecture, from medieval castles to modern skyscrapers. The city is also famous for its diverse cultural scene, including its theatre, music and food. With its blend of history, culture and modernity, London is one of the most exciting and dynamic cities in the world. So you can see that in real time, ChatGPT can generate some incredibly insightful text. So now I'm going to give you one more example and I'm going to say, give me five reasons why I should visit London. And there we go. Now in real time, it's going to generate five reasons why I should visit London. And as you can see, it's also used some of the content that it has generated in the previous text in its new response down here. And there we go, five reasons why I should visit London. Now I'm just gonna give you one final example and what I'm going to do is tell ChatGPT to turn this information into a 650 word listicle blog post. So a list style blog, basically. So I'm now going to write, use this information to write a 650 word listicle blog post. There we go. So it's going to turn this information into a 650 word listicle blog post with an engaging blog title and a meta description as well. So let's hit enter and let it do its magic. So we have the title, five must see attractions in London. Then we have the meta description and now we will write the blog post as well. So now I'll let chat GPT work its magic. There we go, so that has now been finished. So we have had ChatGPT write us a blog post title and a meta description, and then we have an entire blog post as well. Now all you need to do is add some images and of course proofread it and add any additional information that you may want added, and you have an entire blog post created for you. And the crazy thing is, I've only shown you a very, very, very small amount of what ChatGPT can actually do. So I'll just give you a little bit more information about ChatGPT. So you have all of your chats over here on the left and to create a new separate chat, you just need to click the new chat button and you'll be taken back to the dashboard where you can create a brand new chat. Then in the bottom left down here, we have a few more options. You can clear all of your conversations, turn on light mode or dark mode, whichever you prefer. Join the OpenAI Discord page, view the recent updates and the FAQs, and finally you can log out of ChatGPT as well. You may be familiar with ChatGPT, a powerful language processing model developed by OpenAI. But did you know that it could also be used as a Google Chrome extension? That's right, with just a few clicks you can install a ChatGPT extension and start using its capabilities directly in your web browser. And the best part, these extensions can make you feel like a superhuman by increasing your productivity and automating tedious tasks. In this video, I'll be showing you some of the best ChatGPT Chrome extensions available 
and how they can help you to become a superhuman by saving you time and effort on everyday tasks. So whether you're a student, a professional, or just someone that wants to get things done faster, keep watching to see how ChatGPT Chrome extensions can benefit you. So first of all, we have the AI YouTube summary with GPT. Now what this Chrome extension does is uses the AI from ChatGPT to summarize YouTube videos. So I've already installed it to Google Chrome. So now if I open a YouTube video, on the right over here, you will see the summarize Chrome extension within YouTube. You will simply need to log in with your Google account. And once you've done that, it will have activated a free trial. Now you can see here, there are currently some limits, but I'm just going to click, I'm okay with this. Then in order to summarize the video that you have open, all you need to do is click the summarize button. Now this video has less than 30K views, which means it's not available to be summarized in the free plan. So I'm just gonna find a video that is less than an hour long, which has more than 30K views, which we can summarize. So I think that this one here will be okay. So I'll click onto that and I'm going to now click summarize again for this new video. So let's just close this. And now we can see that the summary has been generated. So it has summarized this entire video into a few different sections. So we can click to expand each of these sections. So if I click on this one here, as you can see, it has expanded this specific section of the video that has been summarized. So this is an incredibly powerful Google Chrome extension that will enable you to take more information from a video faster than you've ever been able to in the past. I don't even need to watch this video and I can summarize it in just a couple of seconds by reading what has been generated on the right over here. This is incredibly powerful for educational videos as well. So for example, if I type up here, how to make money with, let's click on this top one with chat GPT. And I think this video here will do it. So let's click onto this and I'll click the summarize button. Now, of course we're using our free trial, so we can only use it on five videos. So in order to complete the summary, click the button just here and it will complete the entire summary for this video. So this will tell me how to make money with chat GPT. So I have all of the different ways to make money with chat GPT summarized on the right over here. So let's have a look at this one that is open just here. We have start a low risk business with TikTok organic and focus on content and products in the 20 to $100 range for impulse purchases. Then we can go into more detail by reading more information down here. So this is the AI YouTube summary generator with GPT. The link to download this Google Chrome extension will be in the description down below. Next, we have chat GPT for Google. This allows you to display chat GPT responses alongside the search engine results. This can be used with Google, Bing, DuckDuckGo and other search engines as well. And as you can see down here, these are the specific features. So all you need to do is install this Google Chrome extension. And once you've installed the extension, it will open this page here. So this gives you a few options to personalize the extension for your own usage. So first of all, we have trigger mode. So this allows you to choose when you want to trigger the chat GPT queries. So I'm going to change it to question mark. So this will only trigger chat GPT when I type something in Google ending in a question mark. Then we have the theme. This isn't really necessary, but I'm going to use the dark theme. We have language. I'm going to leave as auto. And then all I'm going to do is click save at the bottom down here. Now, if I open Google in a new tab, I'm simply going to search for why is grass green? And as you can see, because I have added a question mark, this will generate a chat GPT response, as well as all of the usual Google search responses, as you can see on here. And here we go. So as you can see, this is now generating a response from chat GPT telling me why grass is green. 
And there we go, it's given us quite a detailed response. So that is the chat GPT for Google, Google Chrome extension. Next, we're going to have a look at the AIPRM for chat GPT, Google Chrome extension. So let's have a look at the screenshots. As you can see, this basically has a library of SEO related chat GPT prompts. So let's go ahead and click add to Chrome. And as you can see within the dashboard on chat GPT, we now have the AIPRM chat GPT prompts right here ready for us to use. So as you can see, we have all of these really good prompts that we can use. So for example, if I click onto the YouTube script creator prompt just here, we have a quick description as to what this will do. This says it will create captivating script ideas for your YouTube videos. Enter a short description of your video. This will generate a title, a scene and an entire script. So then down here in the prompt box, all I need to do is enter a brief description or the video title. So what I'm going to do is write how to rank higher in search engines. Then finally, I'm going to hit enter and it's going to write the script for this video. So as you can see, we have the intro. Then we have the body script. So this is different techniques to help your website rank higher in search engines. And then finally, we have the outro being written for us as well. There we go. We have our entire video script. Then if I click on new chat again, we can use another one of these prompts for another example. So let's have a look. Let's see here this one click blog post. Let's use this one. So this will create a blog post in one click. So all we need to do is write a topic for our blog post. So I'm simply going to write how to care for a puppy. Then I'll hit enter. So now it's going to write a blog post on how to care for a puppy. So we have the content brief, our top level keywords, our long tail keywords, the header outline, and then the article outline here as well. And as you can see, we've got the conclusion and the title tags that we can use for this blog post and the meta descriptions are being generated as well. And finally, we have the entire blog post now being written at the bottom down here. So each section that it wrote out in the outline is now being written for the actual main blog post content. So we have the outline, we have the keywords, we have the title tags, the meta descriptions, and then the main blog post content as well. And all I did was write the blog topic and hit enter. That's all I had to do. Of course, you will want to read through this before just posting it on your blog. You will want to perfect it and make it how you want it to be. But as you can see, this is absolutely incredible. Now I'm just going to hit continue so that it continues to write. As there is a limit as to how many words or characters it uses in each reply. So it will now just continue writing the rest of the blog post. And there we go. As you can see, it is now writing the conclusion and the final thoughts for the blog post. There we go. It has completed the entire process. So if I scroll back up, we have the top level keywords. Well, actually we have the content brief, the top level keywords, the long tail keywords, the outline for the blog post, the title tags and the meta descriptions and the entire blog post has been written as well. Now let's use one final prompt from the AIPRM Google Chrome extension for chat GPT. 
Okay, so for the final example, let's use the keyword strategy prompt. And this will create a keyword strategy and SEO content plan from one keyword. So let's click onto this. And for the keyword, I'm going to write organic coffee beans. So we have organic coffee beans. Let's hit enter and let's see what this will generate. So as you can see, this has generated a table. We have keyword cluster, keyword, search intent, title, and meta description. So we have organic coffee beans, then types of organic coffee, benefits of organic coffee, organic coffee brands. And as well as that, we have keywords for each of these. We have the search intent, we have the title. So this could be a blog post that we could write for these keywords and a meta description as well. So this is absolutely fantastic for content ideas. And there we go. So that has generated a keyword strategy based on the keyword that we entered. So in conclusion, we've discussed how chat GPT is a powerful language model that can be used in various ways to automate tasks and increase productivity. By using the chat GPT Chrome extensions that we have discussed in this video, you can harness its capabilities to become a superhuman in your work or personal life. From writing emails and social media posts to conducting research and generating ideas, these extensions can save you time and make you more efficient. I encourage you to try out these extensions for yourself and share your experiences in the comment section. The links to download the Google Chrome extensions that I have mentioned in this video are all in the video description. And don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this one. In this video, I'm going to tell you how to maximize your productivity using chat GPT. If you're looking for ways to improve your productivity and streamline your work, you've come to the right place. In this video, I'll be sharing with you eight tips and tricks that will help you to maximize your productivity using chat GPT. From automating tasks to finding information quickly, these techniques will help you to 10 times your productivity. So sit back, grab a notebook and let's get started. The first technique is using chat GPT to create content quickly and efficiently. Now this could be any type of content, including video scripts, blog posts, even books, or social media posts, absolutely anything. You can use ChatGPT to quickly and efficiently create content for your brand. So I'm going to give you a really simple example. I'm going to open ChatGPT and I'm going to ask it to write an article explaining five ways to grow a local business. So I've written, please write an article explaining five ways to grow a local business. And then I've added, please also give me free title ideas and free meta descriptions that I can choose from. So let's hit enter. And as you can see, it is already writing the article for us. And there we go. So we have the article at the top up here. It is quite a simple article. However, we could change that if we wanted to. And then we have three different title ideas that we could use for this article and three different meta descriptions as well. Now, because this article is quite short, I'm actually going to say instead, can you make it a long form article? So now it's going to make it a more of a long form article that we can use because I think that this first one was a bit too short. But of course, we can still use the same title ideas and meta descriptions that it's already written. It's just now it will be a long form article rather than a really, really short one. As you can see, it has run out of space, so I'm just going to write continue. 
so that it can continue writing the article. I spelled continue wrong there, but never mind. And there we go, so it's now written a long form article. It's actually given us three more title ideas and three more meta descriptions that we could use as well. So there is one way to increase your productivity using chat GPT. You can use it to write your content for you. The second way to use chat GPT is to use it to help you to learn a new topic. So we can use chat GPT to give us a learning plan to learn something new. So let's say I want to learn how to speak French. I'm going to go to new chat again. And I'm going to write, can you give me a learning plan for speaking French? I will also let it know that I am a beginner. There we go, so I've written, can you give me a learning plan for speaking French? I am a beginner, so I need to start from scratch. So let's hit enter. And here we go. So here we have a beginner's guide to learning French. Start with the basics. Learn the French alphabet, numbers and basic greetings. And then we have a full beginner's guide to learning French. And there we go. So as you can see, you can use chat GPT to learn about a new topic or even to learn a new language. So let's go deeper into this. I'm going to say, teach me the French numbers. I'll keep it simple. So here we have the French numbers from one to 20. It goes un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq all the way up to 20. Now I'm not going to try because I don't know French. Now this would be a bit easier if we could hear them as well. So this isn't the best way to use it for learning languages, but it can help you starting out. So let's try something completely different. I'm going to go to new chat and I'm going to say, can you give me a learning plan? Can you give me a learning plan for email marketing? So now it's going to give us a comprehensive learning plan for email marketing. So we can comprehensively learn email marketing from within chat GPT. And there we go. We have a comprehensive learning plan for email marketing. Now the third way to increase your productivity using chat GPT is to use it to reduce your stress levels. So I'm simply going to ask chat GPT to give me some ideas as to how I can reduce stress when I'm working. So now it's going to give me some ideas that we can try to reduce stress while working. We have take breaks, practice deep breathing, exercise regularly, organize your workspace, get enough sleep, and so on. And there's many more being written down here as well. So another great way to use chat GPT to increase your productivity is to use it to reduce your stress levels from working. Next, we're going to talk about how you can use chat GPT to enhance brainstorming and idea generation. So once again, let's go ahead and open a new chat. And I want to start a video editing business. So I'm going to ask chat GPT to help me to brainstorm some ideas for a video editing business. Here we go. Here are a few ideas to get started with a video editing business. Specialize in a particular niche. Offer video production services in addition to editing. Create content for social media platforms. Work with local businesses. Create online courses. 
offer live streaming services. And there we go. We have loads of ideas for a video editing business. So let's say we're in the early stages of our business and we don't yet even have any ideas for our business name. So I'm going to say, please, can you give me 10 name ideas for my business? Here are 10 name ideas for our video editing business. Pixel Perfect, Frame by Frame, Edit Lab, and loads more. Okay, that's great. Now, can you tell me how to get clients for my business? So chat GPT has given us some ideas for our business. It's also given us some name ideas for our business. And now it's also given us some ways for us to get clients for our new business as well. So there we go, chat GPT is fantastic for enhancing brainstorming and idea generation. Now another way to use chat GPT to enhance your productivity is to use it to gather data. So let's say for example you want to create content or your business relies on having certain data, you can use chat GPT to retrieve that data. However, it's important to note that ChatGPT was only trained on information up to 2021, so you can only do this for data before 2021. So for my first example, I'm going to keep this really simple. I'm going to ask it who the top goalscorer was in the Premier League in the 2016-2017 season. So I have written who was the top goalscorer in the Premier League in the 2016-17 season. And there we go, within a couple of seconds we have our information. We have the top goalscorer in the Premier League during the 2016-17 season was Harry Kane of Tottenham Hotspur with 29 goals. Now I'm going to say please give me the top 10 goal scorers from that season. Please give me the top 10 goal scorers from that season. We have Harry Kane, Alexis Sanchez, Romelu Lukaku, Diego Costa, Zlatan, Aguero, Deli Alli, Eden Hazard, Hyung Ming Son and Fernando Llorente. So as you can see within seconds we can gather data using chat GPT. However, it's important to remember that this is only up until 2021 that chat GPT was trained on information. So we can't ask it who was the top goal scorer in the 2022 season because it wasn't trained on data in 2022. Now you can use this to gather any data that you want to that is on the internet before 2021. However, this is just a really simple example for me to show you the top goal scorers from the Premier League season. Another amazing way to use ChatGPT to boost your productivity is to use it for research. So let's say you want to write an article or make a video on a specific topic and you have to do some research. You can use ChatGPT to help you with that research. So I want to research how I can train a puppy. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to list me 10 books on puppy training. And there we go. In just a couple of seconds, it has listed me 10 popular books on puppy training. However, if you decide that you want to find videos instead, you could also ask ChatGPT to list you videos on puppy training instead. So what I'll do is write, can you list 10 videos on puppy training? So first of all, we asked it for books on puppy training and now it's also giving us 10 videos that we could access on puppy training as well. And there we go, so it's now also listed 10 videos on puppy training that we could use as well. 
The next way to use ChatGPT to increase your productivity is to use it to summarize a blog post or a piece of long form content. So let's go and open a new chat. And I'm going to ask ChatGPT to provide a summary of a blog post that I've copied the link for with bullet points. So here we go. I've asked it to provide a summary using bullet points of a blog post, which is an entire guide to TikTok marketing. So if I want to learn TikTok marketing, but I don't want to read this entire blog post, I can instead use chat GPT to summarize the blog post rather than scrolling through the entire post and having to read all of it. And there we go. It has generated a summary of the key points covered in this article. Finally, I'm going to show you how to use chat GPT to simplify text as well. Now I'm going to use the exact same article to keep this simple, but what I'm going to do is ask it to explain this article like I'm five years old. So now it's going to explain this exact article like I'm five years old. So this shows that you can easily use chat GPT to simplify text as well. Now this would also be really handy for more comprehensive and complicated articles on more complex topics. Even though TikTok is quite simple, it's quite interesting to see how it explains it like I'm five and it really simplifies the article and makes it easy to understand. And there we go, we can see that it has simplified that article. Writing a book can be a daunting task, but with the help of chat GPT, it's possible to write a book in as little as 10 minutes. Chat GPT is a powerful natural language processing tool that enables users to quickly and easily generate written content. With chat GPT, you can create original stories, articles, and books with very little effort. Chat GPT is incredibly simple to use. All you need to do is provide a few keywords related to the topic you'd like to write about. Chat GPT will then generate a variety of sentences and paragraphs that you can use as the foundation for your book. You can then customize and expand upon the content as you see fit. So welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use chat GPT to write a book. Yes, we're going to be writing an entire book with chat GPT. So we're going to do this in stages. We're going to take it step by step. First of all, we will select our own niche. Then we will use chat GPT to give us some book topic ideas. Once we have the topic ideas for our book, we will ask chat GPT to turn those topics into possible book titles. Then we will use chat GPT to write a book outline. After that, it will create the introduction and then turn each outline topic into chapters. Then we will use it to write the conclusion for the book, followed by the book tagline and finally a book description as well, which we can use to market the book that we have written. We will also need to format the content into a book and you could also use this information to create a book landing page or list it on platforms such as Amazon. Then you could also choose to turn it into a physical book or an ebook. It is completely up to you. And finally, you can even use chat GPT to generate marketing ideas to sell your book as well. So let's dive straight into it. Now for my book, I have already selected a niche as fitness. So what I'm going to do is ask chat GPT to turn the niche fitness into 10 possible book topic ideas. So in the prompt down here, I'm simply going to write, I want to write a book in the fitness niche. Please can you give me 10 specific topic ideas for my book. So I already know my niche and that's going to be fitness. So I'm going to say, I want to write a book in the fitness niche. 
please can you give me 10 specific topic ideas for my book? So now let's hit enter. And chat GPT is going to give us 10 potential topics that we can use for our book in the fitness niche. And here we go. So we have our 10 potential topic ideas for our fitness book. So we have the science behind weight loss and muscle building, an overview of different types of exercise, a step-by-step -step guide to setting and achieving fitness goals, an examination of popular diets and weight loss methods, a focus on the mental aspects of fitness, the importance of proper nutrition and meal planning, an exploration of common injuries and how to prevent and cover from them. And then we have a guide to designing a home gym, including equipment recommendations, the benefits of fitness for mental health, and finally, a discussion of the latest trends and developments in the fitness industry. So I'm going to select one of these, and then I'm going to ask ChatGPT to use the topic that I have selected to give me some possible book title ideas. Okay, so for my book, I think that I'm going to use the fourth topic idea that ChatGPT has generated, which is an examination of popular diets and weight loss methods. So I'm now going to say, please... I'm going to say, please, can you turn the fourth topic idea into 10 possible book title ideas? There we go. So once this is completed, we will have 10 book ideas in the diet and weight loss niche. Okay, so once this has done, we will have 10 possible book title ideas that we can use for our book. As you can see, we're already getting some absolutely fantastic book title ideas. This is incredible. Okay, so let's have a look at some of these title ideas. I'm not going to read the whole idea. I'm just going to read the first few words. So we have the diet divide. We have weight loss wisdom from keto to clean eating, unpacking weight loss, the truth about diets, sustainable slimming, the diet detective, dieting done right, weight loss without the guesswork and the complete guide to dieting. Now, I quite like a few of these. However, I think the sixth one is the best. Sustainable Slimming, A Guide to Healthy and Long-Term Weight Loss. So then I'm going to go back into the prompt down here and I'm going to ask ChatGPT to turn the sixth idea for the title for our book into a possible book outline. So now based on the sixth book title idea, it is going to generate a potential outline for this book. So we have the introduction, which includes an explanation of the book's purpose, an overview of the importance of sustainable weight loss, and a brief discussion of common weight loss challenges and pitfalls. Then we have understanding your body. Then we have planning for success, making healthy choices, physical activity and exercise, overcoming obstacles, maintaining your success, and finally the book conclusion, which will include a summary, encouragement for readers to adopt a sustainable approach to weight loss, and final thoughts and recommendations for success. So I think this is a really good outline for our book. So I have created a new page in Notion with the book title, and I'm basically going to write out each of the different chapters for our book. And then once we have used ChatGPT to write out our chapters, I'm going to put it all within this document 
so that we have our entire book written out. So first of all, we have the introduction. In fact, if I just make this half the page, we can just copy and paste each of these. Then planning for success, making healthy choices. physical activity and exercise, overcoming obstacles, maintaining your success, and finally the conclusion. Then I'm going to select all of these and turn them into pages. And then what I'm going to do is open the introduction and I'm going to ask ChatGPT to write the introduction chapter for our book. There we go. So then it's going to write out the entire introduction chapter for our book. There we go. So this is quite a short introduction, but realistically it only needs to be short and sweet anyway. So let's copy the introduction chapter. And I'm going to paste it in to my Notion page. So there we go, we have the introduction done. And we can see that this is only 231 words. So this is quite a short introduction chapter, but I don't think that that really matters too much. Now I will open the Understanding Your Body chapter. And I'm going to ask ChatGPT to write this chapter. There we go, so I've just written, now please can you write the Understanding Your Body chapter. So this will now write the second chapter for us and all we need to do is watch it. Okay, so I realize now it started to write an outline for that chapter and that's not what I want. So instead what I'm going to do is say, please can you write the Understanding Your Body chapter in 750 words. There we go. So this should be a lot better now. Okay, so it seems like it's still just giving us an outline for this chapter. So I'm going to stop it again. Now, instead, what I'm going to do is say, now, please write the second chapter. Now I'm going to go back up here where it's done the outline and I'm going to copy all of this so that it knows what to write about. Then I'm just going to add do not write the outline. Instead write the entire chapter because this is the outline it's already given us the outline for the chapter we want the actual chapter written for us so sometimes you do need to train chat gpt to know exactly what you want to get from it so let's see if it does anything better now so we have okay so this is a little bit better i think we'll see
because I'm hoping for around 750 words for each chapter. And I still don't think that it's giving us exactly what we want. We'll see what this does. So we have chapter two. Now I don't think I will use the introduction text and I don't think I will use any of this here where it goes into detail as to what it's talking about. So I think this may work actually. I think this may be okay. Yeah, I think this is going to work. So we finally got it to write the chapter for us. Okay, so it's done it with the outline, but we can edit the text so that it so that it fits in to our book. That won't be an issue. So once this finishes, there we go. We can copy all of this. Now I don't need the introduction text. I'm going to be getting rid of the other stuff anyway. And I'm going to paste this into here. So then I'm going to get rid of some of these headlines. There we go. So we have the entire chapter for the Understanding Your Body chapter. And this is 408 words. So it's not going to be a super long book, but I don't think that matters too much because then it can just drag on a bit and be a bit overwhelming. So we have the introduction, we have the Understanding Your Body chapter. Now we're going to need it to write the Planning for Success chapter. So I think the way I've done it there is the best way to do it. So I'm going to copy the outline it's already written. And I'll just leave it as this. I think this should be okay. Please now write the entire third chapter and I've given it the outline that it previously gave me. So if it can give us another chapter, a similar length as chapter two, I think that that will be perfect. So the introduction of the previous chapter was about three and a half lines. So let's see. Oh wow, this is exactly the same. So this will be good. So it seems like it has learnt to understand exactly what we are asking from it now, which is sometimes what you need to do with chat GPT. It's not going to understand everything straight away. And of course, we may need to edit some of the content that it writes. We want to proofread the entire book. But for now, this is giving us a much quicker way to write an entire book based on a specific subject. And there we go. So it's just going to do this third point and then it might also add a conclusion for this chapter and then we can copy and put it into our Notion page. It's already talking about what's going to happen in the next chapter as well. We will see if that's right. If it is, that's really handy. So let's copy all of that and paste it into Notion. And of course, we want to get rid of these. And that's fantastic. So now we will go to the next chapter, which it did say, what did it say? We'll discuss the importance of making healthy food choices. And it is called making healthy food choices. So it does know what it's talking about now. That is absolutely fantastic. So now let's go back up to the outline and copy the making healthy choices and we'll go back down here now please write the entire fourth chapter there we go now it's going to write the fourth chapter for us There we go. So that chapter has now been written for us. So let's copy all of this and paste it in just here. Then once again, we don't need any of these headings. And the next chapter is done. 
So after that, we'll go to the physical activity and exercise chapter. So let's go back up to the outline. And copy this. Scroll back down and I'm going to say now, please, can you write the entire fifth chapter? And I'll paste in the details for the fifth chapter. It was the fifth, wasn't it? Yep, it is the fifth. So there we go. We're just going through and writing each of the chapters for our book. There we have it, the fifth chapter has now been completed. So we can paste it in to our Notion document. And then that is the physical activity and exercise chapter done. Now I don't want this video to be too long, so I'll skip past the next chapter and I will cut ahead to once the seventh chapter, Maintaining Your Success, has been written by ChatGPT just to save a bit of time from this video because I know it can get a bit mundane watching me basically do the same thing over and over again for each of the different chapters. So we'll skip past the next chapter and cut ahead to once ChatGPT has written the Maintaining Your Success chapter for us. There we go, the seventh chapter is completed. So let's copy all of this and I'll paste it into here get rid of the headings once again and we will go on to our final chapter now which is the conclusion so I'll go back to the outline there we go Now please write the entire 8th chapter and I've just added the details for the 8th chapter which is the conclusion. Now the book that we have written may be better as an ebook rather than a physical book because if it's a physical book it probably won't be too many pages because it's not a super long book but it would be a perfect ebook for a fitness website to use as an email lead magnet or even to sell as a digital product. But we'll see once it's been completed how long the book is and how it looks and so on once images have been added and once the content has been completed. And there we go. That is the conclusion chapter completed. Now we'll just copy that and paste it into here, remove all of the headings and there we have our book. So we have an eight chapter book, we have an introduction, understanding your body, planning for success, making healthy choices, physical activity and exercise, overcoming obstacles, maintaining your success and the conclusion as well. So now that we have our entire book written, we are going to ask chat GPT to write a tagline for our book. Now I've asked it to write five taglines so that we can have a look at them and choose our favorite one. This isn't really necessary, I'm just showing you exactly how many different things the chat GPT can do. And once this is completed, afterwards I will also use ChatGPT to write a description for our book and then we will be completed. We'll have an entire book written along with the title, the topic, the taglines, the, of course, the content and the book description as well, which we can use to market the book and sell it.
And there we go. We have our five different taglines that we can use for our book. Now, as you can see in the document for our book, I have just added taglines so that we can paste in our taglines just here. And now I'm going to add a spacer, a divider, sorry, and I'm going to write description. As this is where I'll be entering the book description. So now, please write a 300 word description for the book. And there we go. Then we'll have a 300 word description for the book that ChatGPT has also created for us. And it's almost ready, but we just need to write continue so that it can write the rest of the description. As, as you can see, it's had a cutoff just here. I think it's just a couple more sentences and then it will be completed anyway. There we go. So let's copy all of this. and paste it in as our description. And of course, copy this last little bit down here as well. And paste that in as well. There we go. And we have our book description as well. Now I could also write a bonus chapter, which could be something like 10 top tips for healthy weight loss. And yeah, I think that would be a perfect way to end this book. Ten top tips for healthy weight loss. There we go. So we will also have a bonus chapter in this book as well, as well as all of the other content that has been created. I think this will be a great way to round out the book. And I will add this chapter just before the conclusion, of course so that it's added properly into the book rather than after the conclusion, because I think that would be a little bit silly. Okay. And whilst this is writing, I will just add down here. Uh, the chapter title is Top Tips for Healthy weight loss. And then we can turn this into a page. There we go. So we're ready to paste this in. There we go. We want it as a blank page. And there we go. So once this is ready, we'll be able to paste it straight in as an additional chapter for the book. It's always good to add bonus content to books or digital products, even if this is an ebook as well. So I think this will be, if this was a published book, it would be a chapter which is enjoyed by the people who were reading the book. So this is almost ready to add to our book. I think it would just be a few more seconds. There we go. So now let's copy all of this and simply paste it in just here. So there we go. We have created an entire book using chat GPT. We used it to give ourselves a topic based on the niche that we selected, which was fitness. And we chose the topic of weight loss. Then we chose our book title as sustainable slimming, a guide to healthy, and long-term weight loss. Then we got the outline for our book and we got ChatGPT to write every single one of our chapters. After that, we use ChatGPT to give ourselves some taglines for the book. So we have five taglines to choose from just here. And we also wrote an entire description for the book as well, which is absolutely fantastic. Then finally, we added an additional bonus chapter to the book, Top Tips for Healthy Weight Loss, 
as you can see just here. And this is a simple chapter which has 10 top tips for healthy weight loss. So this is absolutely fantastic. We have written an entire book using chat GPT. Now you can go ahead and format this into an actual book because at the moment I just have it in Notion. I just did this so that I could keep all of the content in one place and lay it out in an actual format that's understandable. You can even use chat GPT to get marketing ideas to sell your book. So for example, if I say, give me five marketing ideas to sell my book. It will then give me five good marketing ideas to sell my book that I have just written using chat GPT. Today we're going to look at using chat GPT to generate YouTube video ideas. If you're a YouTuber, you know how important it is to consistently create high quality content that keeps your audience engaged. But coming up with fresh and exciting ideas can be a challenge. That's where chat GPT comes in. With its powerful language generation capabilities, chat GPT can help you generate a wide range of YouTube video ideas quickly and easily. In this video, I'll walk you through the process of using chat GPT to create a year's worth of YouTube video ideas in under 10 minutes. So let's get started. First of all, you want to install this Google Chrome extension, as this is how we'll get the best prompts for generating YouTube video ideas. Then simply open chat GPT and this is your new screen. This is what you will see. This Chrome extension has now given us tons of pre-made chat GPT prompts that we can use to get our YouTube video ideas. Now to find the YouTube prompts, I'm simply going to search for YouTube. And here we go. So we have lots of YouTube script prompts. YouTube killer titles. So if you need new clickbait titles, you can use this prompt here. This one will give you YouTube SEO title, description and tags for your video. All you need to do is add a keyword for the video idea. This one on the left will generate a YouTube script and a catchy title intro and outro. Now we want YouTube video ideas. So we're going to click next a couple of times and we're going to use this prompt here. This is going to create a monthly schedule for YouTube videos. So let's click onto this. And now we're simply going to enter some keywords for my YouTube channel. So for now, I've just written four keywords, which are marketing, Canva, WordPress, and SEO. So let's see what this can do with these four keywords. So simply hit enter. And as you can see, this is now going to start creating our YouTube schedule for marketing, Canva, WordPress, and SEO related videos. Now, when you do this, you want to enter many more keywords than I have, and you want to try and be a bit more specific. I've been quite broad and I've not really given any specific information. And it has already created week one and week two. So on week one, we have secrets of SEO marketing. Tuesday, we have Canva hacks for stunning ads. Wednesday is master WordPress in seven days. Thursday is SEO 5 tips for top rankings. Friday is marketing mastery in 30 days. Saturday is Canva for business and Sunday is ultimate WordPress SEO guide. Then we have week 2, week 3 and now it's creating week 4 as well. And there we go. We have an entire month of YouTube video ideas already laid out for us and everything has been done for us. All we need to do is create the videos. Now it says repeat these themes with variations and focus on the long tail keywords for each topic every month for the rest of the year. Now if I wanted even better results I would put more specific long tail keywords and I would enter more keywords than I have as I only entered four.
Now let's say you want to do this even better and get better results with more specific video ideas that are more accurate. Now what I've done is use this same prompt again, but I've entered many more keywords and the keywords that I've entered are slightly more specific to my channel. So now once again, let's hit enter and see what this generates. So again, we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So we have week one here, how to increase website traffic, how to build a website with WordPress, WordPress tips, SEO tips and tricks, design a logo with Canva. And as you can see, it's just going on with more and more and more and more ideas. In fact, this time, because I entered more keywords, it's even done week five and week six as well. And even week seven. Now you can do this again and again and again until you have an entire year of YouTube video content ideas for your YouTube channel. Now you may need to slightly alter some of these ideas, but for the most point, this is absolutely fantastic. So you can even use chat GPT to make these ideas better. So let's say we have Wednesday from week two. So I'm now going to say, please take the video for Wednesday on week two and give me five clickable video title ideas. Now it would help if I spelt Wednesday correctly. And there we go. So I've written, please take the video for Wednesday on week two and give me five clickable video title ideas. Now Wednesday on week two is grow your YouTube channel. So let's hit enter for this. And here we go. So now we have been given five clickable ideas for Wednesday on week two. Now this hasn't given us the best results. It would probably be helpful if rather than writing Wednesday on week two, I actually wrote the video idea. However, this first one is 10 tips to grow your YouTube channel fast in 2023. So if you don't like some of these ideas that have been generated, you can use chat GPT to further define the ideas and turn them into clickable YouTube video titles. So there we go. That is how you can create a year's worth of YouTube video content ideas with chat GPT in under 10 minutes. In this video, I'm going to show you how to write high quality blog posts with chat GPT in a matter of minutes. Using the techniques that I show you in this video, you'll be able to write much more content in much less time. If you're a blogger or a content creator, you know just how important it is to consistently produce high quality blog posts that keep your readers engaged. But sometimes coming up with fresh and original ideas can be a challenge. That is where chat GPT comes in. With its powerful language generation capabilities, chat GPT can help you to generate new and unique blog post ideas quickly and easily. In this video, I'll walk you through the process of using chat GPT to create high quality blog posts that are sure to grab your readers attention. So let's get started. First of all, you want to head over to the Google Chrome web store and install this Chrome extension. It is completely free and it would take seconds to install. Once you've installed it, go over and open chat GPT. Within chat GPT, your dashboard may now look slightly differently, like you can see on my dashboard just here, because we have all of these pre-made prompts right in front of us that we can use in seconds. Now, what we want to do is create blog posts. So in order to do that, we're going to search through these prompts and I'm going to type in blog. Now we're going to see all of the pre-made chat GPT prompts that are the top rated prompts for creating blog content. So as you can see here, we have this one here, which is one click blog post, create a blog post in a single click. We have an outline for a blog article and we have many others down here as well. For example, this one will generate a high quality SEO meta description for your blog. So let's start by using the very first one, which is a one click blog post. Then in the prompt box at the bottom down here, you can see that all we need to do is enter the topic for our blog post. So for this first example, I'm going to type in how to clean a fish tank. Now, 
Now what I'm going to do is click enter and it's going to use that prompt to write a high quality blog article in one click. And there we go. So it started by giving us our topic that we entered. Then we have a target audience, a goal for the blog post and the tone as well. Then we have relevant keywords for our blog post, long tail keywords, the header outline and notes followed by title tag options that we can use, meta description options that we can use. And then we have the entire blog post as well. Now, because of the amount it's already written, what I'm going to have to do is click continue at the bottom down here and it will continue writing the article because we reached the max output for one answer from chat GPT. So now it's going to continue writing the article that we prompted it to write. We're going to have to copy this into sections as of course it wasn't able to write it all in one answer, but that doesn't matter. It's better than writing the whole article, but we will want to make sure that we read through what's been created and make any relevant changes to it just to make sure that it is a high quality article. Here we go. So let's scroll back to the top. We may as well start from the beginning of the blog post. So we have an introduction, then we have a few questions that are answered. And then we have the step-by-step -step guide within the article. So as you can see, these are all of these steps for cleaning a fish tank. And then at the bottom, we have a conclusion as well. So all we needed to do was enter the topic for our article and chat GPT generated all of this content for us. So like I said, we have keywords, long tail keywords, the outline, certain notes as well for the article title tag options that we can use, meta description options that we can use, and then the entire blog post was written for us as well. So that's one great prompt that you can use within chat GPT to generate an entire article in just a matter of seconds. Now let's go back and click new chat at the top again. And we want to make sure that blog is in the search box just here. And what we're going to do is use another one of these prompts. Now I want to try out this one just here, which is most people don't know about, and then you enter a keyword, and this is going to give you 90 ideas for your blog. So this won't write a blog article for us, but what it will do is give us loads of blog content. So let's click onto that. And then what we're going to do is enter our keyword, and that will generate an FAQ and answers from our keyword. So I'm going to give it quite a simple keyword and that is Instagram marketing. And then hit enter and let's see what it generates. There we go. So this is going to give us loads of answers about Instagram marketing and we can use these to help create blog content. Now this is going to keep generating tons. If I click continue here, it's just going to keep writing tons of things about Instagram marketing that people don't know. Now this is just going to keep going and going and going. So I'm not going to click continue again because this is just a quick example for you. You can enter any topic into this prompt and it's going to give you loads of things about that certain topic that people don't know about. And there we go, it's just gonna keep going. So I'm gonna click stop because we don't need any more. This is just an example after all. So then we can go ahead and look at our final example within the prompts over here. And I'm going to show you this one here. Now this is a written SEO article. It will get a 100% human content score and it will write keyword rich content. So if you read the description here, it says human written and plagiarism free content for your blog. So let's click onto this and let's see what this will generate. So in the prompt down here, we're just going to have to enter a title for our blog post. And in this example, what I'm going to do is paste a blog title 
for a blog post that I have actually posted on my website. So let's paste that in here. We have e-commerce tips and tricks for small businesses. So let's hit enter and let's see what this creates. So we have the introduction paragraph just here. And then we have each of the e-commerce tips for small businesses. So we have a heading for each one and then a paragraph for it as well. And this is going to keep writing. And as you can see, these are all e-commerce tips and tricks for small businesses. And this is basically an entire article being written for us. There we go. And as you can see, it's written 10 e-commerce tips and tricks for small businesses. Now I did just remember there is also one more prompt that I want to show you. So let's go back and click new chat again. And I'm just going to see if we can find it. Instead of blog, I'm going to type article. And this is the prompt that I want to show you. This one here called outrank article. Now what this is going to do is outrank your competitors with an in-depth SEO optimized article based on the competitor article URL that you paste into the prompt. This will help you to be like your competitors, but just a little better. So let's click onto this prompt. And as you can see, all we need is our competitors URL. I think this article could be a good example. So I'm simply going to copy the URL for this article here. And we can go back in to chat GPT. And I'm going to paste in the competitor URL for the article that we just found. And then I'm going to click enter. And there we go. It is writing an article even better than the one we pasted in. So we have the introduction section, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. And if I click continue, it's just going to keep writing the article. So we have chapter four then being written, drive traffic and leads to your business. As you can see, this is a very high quality article. You can see that just from a quick glance and it's being written incredibly quickly as well. So I'm just going to let this continue writing, but that is pretty much it for this video. And as you can see, that has now completed the article. I hope that you have found this video on writing high quality blog posts with chat GPT useful. With ChatGPT's language generation capabilities, creating engaging and original content has never been easier. So why not give it a try and see how it can help you take your blog to the next level. So once again, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like and a comment with your favorite prompt that we used in this video. And also let me know if this has helped you out at all. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well, as that helps me out massively. So thanks again and goodbye.